So I think this is of extreme importance. This is a new land war in the Middle East. Turkish troops and tanks going into Syria with American air support. I say this is a big deal. What say you, sir? It is a big deal. Uh, the government of, of Mr. Erdogan wanted actually to go into Syria as of 2011, but then against the Assad regime. Now they are shifting and going against ISIS because they know ISIS is very dangerous to themselves. Uh, see what happened in Turkey over the past many months, many terror attacks. But we have a major question here. Once Turkey moves in, if it moves deep mm -hmm. and seizes positions from ISIS, to whom is Turkey going to shift those positions to, to which other military force? That's a big question. Well, I know you don't have an answer to that question, but it, it just seems so extraordinary to me that we're now seeing a new land war. I don't think we've seen this before. This is a, a nation committing its armed forces to cross the border of its neighbor with American air support. What would Donald Trump say about this? Well, first of all, Donald Trump needs to be the president because before saying anything, he wants to know from our agencies what's actually taking place on the ground. Where are our assets? Because there are some uh, interesting questions here. We have assets with the Kurds in northeastern Syria, right? And now we are supporting the Turks moving in. But we know that the Turks are or most likely will be fighting against the Kurds, uh, as we understood from Mr. Erdogan. So we need to have that information cleared to the uh, president if Mr. Uh, Trump is elected, when he's elected. It, it seems that we, America, wants to use force against ISIS. But here we have a fundamentalist Islamist who runs Turkey, and he's the one who's doing it. Strange bedfellows. Hmm. You are going back to point one that I've raised that with some sarcasm. Well, of course, if Mr. Erdogan's forces are going to move inside Turkey, they're not going to remit th that piece of land taken from ISIS to Boy Scouts. They're going to remit it to militias. Now, those militias are going to be linked to the Muslim Brotherhood. So, yes, ISIS will be defeated, but we're going to get another force that will be problematic for the future. That's why we need to have an administration that would talk to the Turks, talk to all the players before we get to the ground games of a new war in the region. Okay, uh, Walid, hold on for one second. I just want to bring to our viewers' attention another item of news. What are We're we We're getting guys? reports to the American University in Kabul in Afghanistan is under attack. Tweets from various news organizations say gunfight underway, explosion has been heard, several American teachers, possibly hundreds of students sheltering inside that complex. More destabilization, Walid. The Turks go into Syria, an attack on, the, I think it was the American University, did you say, yes, in Kabul, in Afghanistan? Kabul. Yep. This is just destabilizing vast areas of territory, isn't it? It is, it is. I mean, if this information now is confirmed that the American University in Kabul is under attack, this would be of great concern, knowing that we may have American citizens, number one, inside, but knowing also that Taliban or including possibly ISIS of uh, Afghanistan are directly attacking academic institutions inside the capital, that's a major development. It's daily developments. That's what it is. Walid, thank you very much indeed. We appreciate it. Thank you, sir.